is covering schools now. Right now, Rhode Island is the only state in the country without a set formula on how it distributes aid to its school districts. But lawmakers have begun working to change that. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live from the State House now with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Children are our country's future. It's a mantra that's easier to say than to actually live by. But here at the State House, there's now a move that may make that mantra come to life. When it comes to education, once again, Rhode Island is alone among the 50 states, and not in a good way. The 49 other states all pay for educating their students by means of a funding formula. This is not uh, rocket science. This is not anything different that we're asking for. We just want a formula like every other state in the nation has. Is it borderline embarrassing that Rhode Island doesn't have a formula? Absolutely. It's absurd that we don't have it. State lawmakers are now considering various funding formulas, so the same amount of money follows every category of student in Rhode Island, regardless of where the students live. Rhode Island's Education Commissioner says the current system is hopelessly outdated. It is everything from enrollment increasing and de decreasing to the population of the community changing, the demographics of the community changing, to, um, to some of the communities who had um, extra funding for a variety of reasons, including for consolidation purposes. Take Cranston, for example. Uh, we've changed from 20 years ago when we were truly more of a suburban type community. We've got an urban core. Our student needs, our special ed needs have uh, grown over the course of the years. Politically, the time for a funding formula for education may have come. On both the House side and the Senate side, it now seems that the question is less whether to do it than how to do it. Live at the Statehouse with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.